Hi, welcome to Gear Garage. I'm with Zach. This is my little internet show about whitewater stuff. And I'm super excited about this episode. You know, a lot of people have been asking me to explain how to run rapids or what I'm thinking. And I've spent the last three episodes on a whiteboard explaining my thoughts about what it takes. And, and really, to me, a lot of it comes down to catching eddies, ferrying, and understanding speed and momentum. I feel like most of river running are those three things. And so I've explained it on a, on a whiteboard and now I'm just excited to bring it all together. I'm showing you gonna share some video with you of some of my runs down some rapids down the Illinois River and kind of what's going through my head and what I'm thinking. So before we start out, I wanna remind you, please like and subscribe. It turns out to do well on YouTube, you need subscribers and you need likes. So just take a second if you like the show, support me. You know, click the like button, click the subscribe. Um, I'll promise to do my best to put out lots of great content. I'm working hard at trying to do this. And um, yeah, with that, let's get started. Here we are at Prelude Rapid, or some people call it Fawn Falls. And there's a really nice, you can't run anywhere down the middle there. It's all messy. So you have to run this tight chute on the left. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch this eddy by pushing the, that rock. I'm basically headed right below it, have momentum, and I go right into the eddy. And the beautiful thing about catching the eddy at the top is the backwater slows my momentum down. So I basically slowed the boat down very quickly, catching the eddy quick. And I really want to go over this drop very slowly. It's a very tight channel. So my goal here was to dump the momentum so I could take my time, get a good look at it, set up, and just kind of drop over it. It's just really tricky to get a boat down this, a gear boat down this. So again, not having, not having momentum now really helps me take my time, get it right, and ship the oars. And it's a pretty easy drop. And there's an eddy there right in front of me. My goal is to catch that so I can take some photos and set some safety. So I'm going to, in this case, powerfully, as powerful as I can, pull over and catch the eddy. Here we are at Greenwall. This is the next rapid. It's a pretty big, long technical rapid at this flow. We're at about 650 CFS. And I'm following my friend Aaron pretty close here. This is closer than we normally would go in rapid like this. But I was in the mood to get some GoPro footage of him too. And you're going to see now I'm just kind of floating down, dropping some momentum when I can. I don't want to go too fast because the water will speed me into things. So I'm in this rapid and it's technical water. just trying to slow time down. Once this boat captures momentum downstream, it'll just do its own thing and hit things. So there's a, a in the entrance here, there's a two rocks we have to go between. So I'm just slowly kind of ferrying a little bit to get the position I want. And as soon as I get that position, I'm going to try to drop momentum again because I don't want to come through this drop and then shoot somewhere really hard. So here we go. I'm going to drop momentum and I'm ferrying to the right. And I'm pulling pretty hard to get right to miss a hole right there. Yep. That's the hole I was trying to miss. And at this point, I'm thinking again, drop momentum. I want to slow down. I'm getting closer to Aaron. I don't want to get any closer to him in case he gets stuck. So I'm just trying to slow down. And I know the move is from left to right to get to these rocks. I'm getting on the left side. I'm going to hit these rocks. Hitting these rocks actually helped me dump momentum a little bit. And now I'm going to ferry to the right. It's just slowly ferry. And I'm building momentum from left to right very slowly right now. And here we go. That momentum is going to carry me through this channel. Boom. And I have a lot of speed over the drop, so I'm trying to dump it. Luckily, I hit this wall, and this wall really slows me down. I went from going from faster than the current to slower, which is really good because I didn't want to come speeding down and run into Aaron. So just getting the boat back, get the angle right. And the move here, Aaron does it perfectly, is sort of on the left side of this. And I kind of have to ferry back and forth here on a back ferry to get my position. It's really hard to control this boat. It has a lot of momentum right now. But my goal is to kind of hit this left side as best I can. But right now I have momentum to the right, even though I'm pushing, which sends me right into the hole. Luckily, it's a heavy boat I can power through. And on that wall, my goal is to hit it straight. If I was going to hit it, I want to hit it straight and not sideways. If you hit it straight, you typically bounce off. Sideways, you want to flip. So I pointed it at that rock. And I'm just catching an eddy. And for me, like I love perching on rocks like that. It's a really nice way to stop. So, uh, you know, I went over, I pulled over to catch the eddy, and just hitting a rock is a great way to stop yourself. 
Here we are at Little Green Wall. This is one of the harder rapids on, on the Illinois as well. It's very technical at this flow. And so right now I'm letting Aaron go through, just kind of paying attention, watching his lines, making sure he's clean. We don't want to be in this rapid at the same time because if he does get stuck, I'd plow right into him. So I'm just taking my time, seeing how he does, watching how he goes. And also there's boats on the shore. I might relay them some information, you know, whether to go right or left at the bottom. You know, we weren't totally sure which way to go. We all of us scouted it. And seeing Aaron's lines help me make a decision. And here it's just a tight thread the needle through here. So again, I want to go really slow. If I have a lot of momentum, it'll just carry me into something. So my goal is to just slowly go down and point the boat where I want it to go. So anything you can do here just to slow this thing down. I'm going to pull back. Go slower than the water right now. Go through this channel. I'm going to probably take me, it's going to probably take me right into that rock in front of me. But if I slow it down, I can barely hit it. There we go. And this drop at the bottom requires, the one past here requires a huge ferry from right to left. So again, I want to draw momentum. I really want to slow the boat down as much as I can so that I can go over this drop and then make a huge pull off. I have momentum, it's just going to carry me down through that really weird channel on the right where I'll get stuck. So I'm dropping momentum, going over the drop, hit the rocks on the right, which is good. These rocks help me slow down a little bit. And now it's just a ferry across. And I'm going to catch an eddy again because you want to be in a, an eddy for safety. And I pull into this eddy. You can see Aaron's down in an eddy down below there where we all set up for safety because once we're done with the rapid, we're immediately thinking, how do we catch an eddy in the most efficient manner? And of course, I, I like to catch eddies high. If there's a flip here, I'm pretty useless, right? If they, they flip because they'll float past me very quickly. Uh, my goal in being in this eddy is to send them some, some signals about where to go, but also to uh, maybe take photos. Well, I hope you enjoyed some of that footage and some of my thought process. If you have anything to add to that, like you, you, have, you, know, you think I can do better or have improvements or thoughts or questions, there's a comment section below. I love having a conversation about this stuff. You know, there's no exact way to do all these things. There's no manual to how to row. There's just like each of our experiences and thoughts and some people row differently than others. Like I said in the beginning, I really enjoy running big boats down technical moves. I feel like it's just really challenging. So, you know, some of these things don't apply as much if the, if the Illinois is like 3000 CFS. And hopefully in the future I'll do more videos like this kind of going through my thought process through different styles of rapids or, or whatever. So anyway, again, as always, thanks for joining and see you next time.